<clears throat> hey everybody thought I'd pop back on and do another little one real quick I've been meaning to do one for Hunter for a while Hunter J and uh, this is gonna start out with his friend Jordan and this is the Betty's ball that they uh, you know the outfit they to put it on and uh, anyway they're all having fun at the ball as you can see I don't recognize any of these girls which is really interesting because or the names it's kind of fun I mean it's kind of funky because I just normally know or remember all these guys right or have recognized them in some way shape or form but I do not recognize any of these girls this is Hunter's friend and then Here's the, so it's the formal. I wonder what place that's at. That might be the... That might be the Taylor Apartments. I mean, it's almost like you got a whole new group of friends, which is just bizarre. But look at the date of this, you guys. So this is the Betty's Ball. This is November 12, 2022. Jordan Burkhart. Burkhart. Emily. It's so weird. Their names are kind of... Their names are so similar. Isn't that crazy? I mean, there's... Cindy Barnhart. <laughs> Emily Alante, which is... kind. Of, I mean, it's kind of weird. Kind of sounds like that a little bit. All dressed up. Then you've got them on the steps over here. That does... Well, I don't know. Taylor... Does Taylor have those, those uh, grates on the steps? I don't think so. Hmm... But this is what I want to show you that's really kind of creepy. It's her tattoo. Now, what's really the creepiest part about her tattoo is that it's a sword, for one. It says 4-2 on one side and 86 on the other. And immediately I thought of 4-2. Four, 4 deceased and 2 alive. And then 86, since I used to work in a bar, it immediately came to me as 86. You're 86 out of here. You're no longer, you can no longer come here, right? You are banned. You are banned. You no longer can be here. That's what that, that's what that said to me. And it just made my skin crawl. Because what this tells me, if this isn't, is indeed the case, this is pure speculation, you guys. I don't, I don't know these people. I'm not saying they did anything. I'm just, I'm just kind of breaking it down in my own head and, and sharing it with you. But what this says to me, if it, this indeed is what I think it, what, you know, what I'm saying, is that it was totally premeditated. How would they know there'd be four deceased and two left alive? Unless they knew about it. Unless they planned it that way. Yeah. So now, I'm kind of wondering, there's Hunter right here. And he's in Hawaii. This is March 22nd of 2023. Yes, it's really me. It's Maui. Breathe it in. I know it's a lot. It's the hair, the bod. When you're, when you're staring at a demigod, what can I say except you're welcome? Blech. That's gross. So, here's another thing. Is... Um... Does he look like he has money? He, he looks like he's got money to me. But I never knew he had money, but maybe he's got money for, for some other reason. Maybe he earned the money. I don't know. Just saying. So see the Claire C C Cirilio, the, the cutest? Do you know who guys you know who that is, you guys? Let me show you here. Hold on. Don't mind the finger pointer right here, because it's not pointing to who I'm thinking it is, who I'm saying it is. But Claire is the girl all the way on the right, our right. And she's the one that's good friends with Bethany and Dylan. She's also the one that has the tattoo. Not Bethany, as far as I know. Bethany's never showed the tattoo. But Claire has. There is a photo of Claire with the tattoo. She's standing next to Dylan. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
True story. So back to um, Hunter here. Does this look like they got married, you guys? Because it kind of looks like they got married to me. You know what else that tells me? That tells me that they can't testify against each other if indeed they were involved. That's a marriage picture right there. Too bad there isn't any wedding rings on here. I can't see. If there's a ring on these or not. Oops. Look at those big old feet of his. Does he have flippers on? No, just kidding. <laughs> skinny legs. He does look a little skinny, doesn't he? Doesn't he look skinny to you guys? Fresh haircut. Look at his knees. Dang. I mean, he looks really skinny. Did he have knee surgery? Look at up, look at up the inside of his right leg. Look at that incision. It looks like an incision to me. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a shadow. But it looks like his leg in the... I don't know. It's weird. Hmm. Then you've got Claire. She's also in Hawaii with them. <coughs> Today marks the start of a new tradition for me every year. <laughs> So Claire's in Hawaii with them. November, no, November 13th, 2023, you guys. Holy shit. Today marks the start of a new tradition for me every year. Although today is a very tough day for everyone who had, to, who had the pleasure of knowing them, I want us to try to look at it as a day to acknowledge the impact they made in our li on our lives. To look back and smile on the memories that we are so blessed to have with them. Today, have a beer for Santa. Make someone laugh for Ethan. Do something nice for Maddie and do something brave for Kaylee. I invite everyone to share this new tradition with me and tell your people that you love them. I miss you guys more and more every day. Thank you for painting the sky for us this morning. And I look forward to seeing you do you do at sunset. I, I look forward to seeing what you do at sunset. I don't know, you guys. I mean property of Claire. I mean, I still wonder if Santa and Ethan got married. You know that it's on the obituary, right? That Santa and Ethan were married. And do you remember that, um, do you remember, um, Wazoo Kim saying that there was something small that she wanted to make sure that the family got that was, with, that was Santa's? Did she mean a wedding ring? Kim, did you mean a wedding ring? And this picture right here, I just put this picture up on another one of mine, and I want to know who these guys are in the back. There's one staring out the window, and there's one sitting there staring directly at the girls. Now, when I, when I crop this down, the guy that's sitting there outside, you guys, he looks like one of the cowboys. And one of the cowboys has a very, very strong resemblance to the Moye's dad. <sighs> I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying these are what I've seen, the pictures and stuff. And I'll be happy to show you. This is Madison... Tyler, Ty Dubai, and Nat's dad. <laughs>